All right, so in this problem, we want to simplify this expression into its simplest form. Now, in order to do so, we need to remember the order of operations, which is our PEMDAS right here. All right, so now let's first begin by plugging in the values of P and Q that are given to us. And so our equation is going to look like this. Instead of Q, we're going to have a negative 2. We're going to have our parentheses 3 times P, which is 3 to the power of 2 minus 2p, which is 2 times 3, and we'll close our parentheses, plus our q, negative 2, minus our p, which is 3. Oops. All this is raised to the power of 2. Now let's simplify first this parentheses right here. We have a negative 5 to the power of 2. Now let's, now let's solve the inside of this parentheses. So we have negative 2 on the outside, and our inner parentheses is 3 times 3 to the power of 2, which gives us 9, minus 2 times 6, a 2 times 3, which will give us 6, plus our parentheses here, which is negative 5 to the power of 2. Now let's continue solving for the inside of these parentheses, and we will have negative 2 times... And negative 2 times our inner parentheses, which is 3 times 9, which will give us 27 minus 6, plus our negative 5 to the power of 2. Now let's distribute this negative 2, but first let's solve the inside. So we have 27 minus 6, which will give us 21. And if we multiply this negative 2 by 21, we will get negative 42. And now we will add our exponent here we will have negative 5 times negative 5, which will give us a positive 25, because a negative times a negative will give us oops, a positive. All right, so now a negative 42 plus 25 gives us a negative 17. And so negative 17, which is A, will be our final answer.